Hey everyone, it's me here at Kimball, back behind the camera here to show you my chicken tractor and what I've got going on here today. Here, we'll open the door to get a better view and giving them some food. But I have also removed some of these chickens because today I'm going to start processing. I'm going to show you my whiz-bang processing setup here, but first figured I'd show you this chicken tractor and the chickens. So let me show you that equipment. I'm set up here in my backyard in the shade. This spot, this corner in my backyard is shady until late afternoon. So that's ideal. We have the whiz -bang garden cart there. You will recall if you watched the video where I got the chicks, when we first got the chicks, that we put them in this cart for a week or so. And now I have a dozen in the cart awaiting the, their processing. So this cart is downright handy, and I have this little temporary uh, end that I put on that to make a box. So that works out quite well. And over here we have the cones, the killing cones, that I will upend the chickens into and uh, slice their necks, let them bleed out down into the sawdust. And I have extra sawdust there, or wood chips I should say. Now this right here is a bungee cord. I'll make a loop out of this and once the chicken is in the cone I'll loop this around the chicken's feet and I'll stretch it down and tie it off. Now I have a knife that I use just for cutting their necks and it's right here convenient. Then I have my gloves which I put on when we come over here to the scalder. This is the Whizbang chicken scalder. I have a whole video, YouTube video, that talks about this. It's heating up now. You can see some steam coming off of there. And we'll come around the back here and you can see the temperature is 130 degrees. This electronic temperature controller maintains, I'll just flip to 131. We're getting close. It holds a four degree temperature range. This is propane fueled right here. I've got a burner down under there. Let's see. You, yeah, you, there you can see it's burning. So this thing will maintain temperature all day long, as long as there's propane and I've got a full tank. And this is the gondola that the chickens get clipped on. And I flip the switch and it goes up and down slowly. I probably will not show you this because I'm processing chickens alone and I just want to get the job done when the time comes. Here we have the famous, world famous Whizbang chicken plucker. This is the original, built in uh, 2000, 2001. I published the plan book in 2002. This has plucked thousands of chickens, my own, and for many people who I've loaned it out to. Still working fine. The Kent C25 fingers are still in good shape. Here we go. 15 seconds, no feathers, with a proper scald. And then we have the water here to spray while they're tumbling. And we'll go over to the sink. Okay, this is our outdoor sink. I also have a video about this on YouTube and the toe tapper faucet switch that I invented. I've got an umbrella there. I originally had this sink on the garden cart and once I knew that was going to work out well for me in this location I made a permanent stand. Now let me see what will I show you. Over here we have the gut bucket which is necessary and here we have a cooler. After I've cut up the birds they'll go in the cooler. We bought that cooler in 1999 and we use it only for putting chickens in. We fill it with cold water, a little bit of ice. We'll come over and take a look at the sink and you can see that I have my paper towels. I like to have paper towels when I'm processing. I have a new knife. I bought a new knife for processing chickens. So I'm excited to use this. Very sharp, scary sharp. And we have, we don't need paint brushes to process chickens, but the summer paint brushes hang right out here on the sink. Very easy to clean them in the sink here. This, uh, sink this old cast iron sink a modern stopper does not fit it well it fits but it doesn't seal so i made one out of leather and a canning jar lid 
in an eye hook, and the leather has gotten stiff. It worked very well when it was new. So I have another piece of leather here, and I'm going to get this, um, get a new leather on that so that I can fill the sink up to overflowing onto the drain boards here, and I'll put the bleach in, and I'll let that set for a little while, and then I'll scrub it good with a scotch Brite, and it'll come out shiny, shiny white. It'll clean up very nice. Of course, here is the toe tapper or knee tapper, which is so cool. Very convenient, hands-free. And this is set up all summer long out here. One more thing I guess I could show you is that we have the butcher's steel, which is necessary. So that's it. We're, we're ready, except for me getting the sink cleaned up. I'll process two chickens at a time. They'll go right into that this cooler full of water. It'll be full of water when, when I'm ready. And uh, then from there, several hours later, we'll take them into the house and cut them up, package them in our poultry shrink bags that we sell at poultryshrinkbags.com. I want to show you how the bungee cords hold the chicken's feet. You can see that it's been looped around the chicken's feet right there. It goes down over the other side of the, uh, the holder there that holds these killing cones and it hooks on that screw down there. That immobilizes the chicken, keeps them from flipping out of the cones. And those cones are homemade cones. They are in my Whizbang Chicken Plucker plan book, the pattern for making those. And uh, I won't show you the poor chicken there, but it is ready to scald now.